Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is your weekend reading. This is your next 24 hour star reading session for you, Sagittarius. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good, Sagittarius. This reading for today, it is for you. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, Sagittarius, I invite you to check out the description box below. You will see the details of the website and our website will have the details of the products and the services that we offer outside of the YouTube platform, okay? So this reading is for you, Sag. Let's see what's coming towards you. What is the message that is meant for you to know, ready for you to know? Ooh, your overall energy is the full, full card. I'm doing this uh, today, new moon, and um, we will also get a new moon reading for you, okay? We'll pick up love, career, finance, and new moon reading. What can I get for Sag? Oh, wow. We got the high priestess in here. I love the high priestess. Most especially if this appears in a new moon and in a full moon reading. Okay. And if you would like to further connect with me, Sagittarius, you know what to do. All of the products and the services that we offer, it is in the website. Please be um, aware of a scammer. It's in Instagram. So don't engage to anybody who approach you. I don't have time to, to offer private reading via Instagram. That is a scammer, okay? He's been promoting my channel. Okay, let's see what's coming towards you guys. Ooh, Ten of Cups. That is amazing. So, you're up to something good, okay? The full card, upright position, Sagittarius you are thinking in advance okay your overall energy this is a good energy this is a very sagittarius energy the full card you would like to take a risk you would like to start a new adventure you would like to start a new plan a fresh plan okay it would be different from each one of you but this plan this new beginning that you are creating inside that magnificent that amazing head of yours sagittarius it makes you feel excited it could be a travel plan at the end of this year it could also be a renovation plan um it could also be something that you would have to reinvent yourself okay there's a reinvention in here and I feel like for some of you, you're going to move into a, to, or travel to a cold place for some of you guys. But one thing about the full card and the intuitive is pointing the rose, okay? The color of the rose is white. It means that you're not looking back, you know, you are not recreating or doing this because you had a failure in the past. Um, this is all going to be a very peaceful plan, a very adventurous plan. This full card energy, it is a vibe where you came up with this because you had a disappointment, you had a failure in the past. No, it is all rooted to a good vibe energy, Sagittarius, the full card, okay? You know, like... The past is the past, not looking into it. I'm, in, I'm into a new beginning. You feel very confident about this new beginning, this creative plan. It is in your head. It's a, it's a wonderful plan. It makes you more and more excited. Um, reinventing. You know, there's something about reinventing how you look, reinventing your career, reinventing a business, revising, but it's all for a newness. That's why you're re reinventing, revising it. Let's pick up more message with the full garden here. I like your vibe. It's very good. No more darkness. All about new beginning. Yeah, Emperor card. To be honest with you, whatever this is, whatever it is, this, this is a new beginning. You are very capable. You're this card wanted. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. The full card is, is, is a card of being 
very um because the full card the emperor card you act like nothing happens but you know it's it's a reading sagittarius well i'm just gonna try i'm gonna try to interpret what i feel because the full card this is foolish heart you know like the fool is about a person who would jump into a new beginning without knowledge she she he just have the the enthusiasm the fire in him and would like to take a new beginning with you it's a different case you the full card it feels like very positive very optimistic you know so for some of you you had a heartbreak you had some disappointing in the past you don't even want to look at that you you don't you want you don't want to credit the person in the past or the past experience with this new beginning it's all about you the emperor this is your knowledge this is your experience this is how capable you are you know it's an adventure where i can afford it it's a plan where i can do it i have the talent i have the skills i have the money i have the time in the world to do it so you're you know some of our adventures it's because sometimes it's based on experience it's based from what took place in the past no this is different you know, it's it's Ace of Pentacles. You want a business because you can do it. And you have time. You've got money. You've got the talent. You've got the skills. Not because you were, I don't know, but not because of something in the past. I'm really getting like a very strong vibe. Most especially if this is a love reading. I want to fall in love. Be not because I was rejected. Because I deserve it. So you are, you're not referencing this new beginning as nothing that has no connection with the past. Okay? It is connected to your ambition. It's connected to the very core of your soul. Okay, And this full card, it's not foolish heart or it's not a foolish ambition. It's a positive reinforcement, a positive way of reinventing yourself. Like if I look at you, I would find you very optimistic, very positive. But behind that is a brain of an emperor. So if a person, if you know, you could represent yourself, like you, your your friends or family would say that's very ambitious, you know, like you're very good. Yeah, I want to do it. I want to climb the Mount Everest. That's very ambitious. And you sound like gullible. You found enthusiastic, but at the back, you can really do it with the emperor card. So for example, yeah, I want, I want a business and your friends like, yeah, go for it, go and have a business. But they've got this thinking that, oh my God, that's a big, that's a big plan for Sagittarius to have a business or to do this. There's something that you want to do and your friends or family thinks of you a lot with that. That's big. And the way they see you is like, mm, yeah, she wants to do it or he wants to do it. The way they see you is like a fool. Whatever you want, the way they see you, it's like a, let's see if Sagittarius can do it. Or it's like a fool, foolish heart or very, you know what, taking the risk. The way they see you when you do this plan is taking a risk. But they didn't know that at the back of this foolish card is the emperor card. You've got a you have more than capacity to do this. It is a pentacles, and here you go. So, for example, you've been sharing to your friends, "Oh, I want to have my own restaurant." Oh, yes, go for it. But they have this thinking that yeah, it's 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 free to dream big, you know. But they've got doubt that you can do it, you know. And I think for some of you guys, your friends or family or people knows you that, yeah, it, they, will, they will doubt me. But I don't care because I know I can do it. So there's something about your plan. It doesn't reference the past. It doesn't listen to your friends, your family, because you have an emperor. You have everything like your friends, your family, the people around you. They don't know how powerful you are, but you know. You project yourself at easy going, blah, 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 easy, peasy, just being ambitious. But they don't know that you have the willpower to actually do this, whatever this is. You know, the thing that you're just being a Sagittarius who's, I mean, you know, it's, it's a feeling where, okay, good luck, Sag. They will support you, but they find it very ambitious or they find it very... I don't know, something about, yeah, yeah, let's see. That's the vibe I'm getting with the people around. Let's see, Sagittarius. But you're like, you don't, you will not say it. It will not come out in your mouth. If, you know, you have the brain of an emperor. So whatever you say, you will do. But some people around you, I would say, 
they will take you really seriously when they see it's happening. Like I'm, I'm getting like a couple of friends or family of yours, like, let's see. And you're like, I can really do it. I've got a brain of an emperor and I've got money in the bank or time, got the resources. So whatever this is, go for it. It's a new moon. You also know that some of your friends or family might have hesitation that you can do it, but they're just share, sharing it to you and cheering you. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. But they've inside, okay, let's see. But you know you've got the brain of an emperor. In fact, you like it. You like it if some people doesn't believe you or you like it and you take it as a challenge when sometimes people would like, yeah, go for it. You will pick up and sense that huh, you have hesitation. You've got, you know, hesitation or you've got doubts with me. I've got a brain of an emperor. It's also, it's also to remind you whatever taking a risk that you would like to do, you have the brain of an emperor. You can run an empire and you've got all the money and all the time and all the resources to make this taking a risk plan. Okay. Yeah. Don't underestimate a Sagittarius because you are big. You're big. Your heart is big. Your ambition is big. Your brain is big. When you plan, you just don't plan to tiny. You plan big. Among the Sojak sign, you are the one who is an archer. You shoot for the stars. That's you. It doesn't look like that. You know, people were like, it doesn't look like that in the surface, but inside you is a cosmic ball of fire shooting for the stars. Whatever this is, this is big. It's big. For some of you, you're going to work things. You're going to work up until next year towards, but it's big, big money, big career, big movement. Whatever this is that you feel, it is big and it has potential. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good one. Okay. Now, you've got the high priestess and I feel like this is part of your, um, this is part of you. Not only that, but it's not just one plan. It's multiple plan. I'm hearing also all together with the high priestess. I'm, I'm like, I want to travel. I want to be rich. I want to be a mother. I want to be the father. I want to I want everything. Like you're verbalizing and I want, I want to be rich. I want to do this. I want to do that. And your friends, your family, like positively like, yeah, go for it. Let's see, go for it. But you can really do it. Whatever you're thinking and feeling at the same time, multiple, you can really do it. Yeah. This is this is this is the vibe I'm telling you guys about the sun card. You're telling your friends or your family. You're very outspoken about your plan. Your plan. Plan. You're very outspoken about your plan. Oh, I want to have this and that and this and that. And your friends or family, they're not criticizing you. They're not against you, but okay, let's see. And you felt this. That okay, they don't want to believe me until it comes it comes through, but you can really do it. With the knight of wands with this power, you will charm your way in and out to get something. You have the brain of an emperor. You have the time. Like this is whatever it is. It feels like David and Goliath. Whatever you want to do, it's like you're the David and your dream is a Goliath. And you know, you can shoot for the stars. Really, I'm hearing those words. You're very ambitious. And this ambition is very achievable. Like it's being up. Like I have no doubt you can get this. If you set yourself on fire. To do this, no doubt, Sagittarius, you can get whatever you want. I want a house, I want a you know, baby, I want everything. Go, go for it. Yeah, moon card. Emotionally, you want everything at the same time. This could be a block, but there is no limit. Yeah, Queen of Cups. For some of you guys, I'm picking up that maybe you want to establish your career, maybe you want to change your career, maybe you want to have a business, maybe you want to have a creative um project in here maybe the block in here it's not you it's falling in love you could your relationship could derail like could not derail but could delay you so for some of you you want to have a business and then you fall in love you might get out of focus the block in here is love yeah the block in this really like for example, I want to have my own business. I want to have a building. I want to have an empire. I want to have this adventure. It will be delayed because for some of you might get pregnant because you fall in love. Your your focus would be split. Okay? So you have this big ambition. You have this big plan. It might be interrupted because of a relationship. 
a relationship, you know. But it could be, still be manageable. It would still be manageable. So go for it. Shoot for the stars, Sagittarius. Now, you have a page of swords. You have a message that will really, really make you happy. Page of swords, ten of cups. A, a message that will really make you happy. It will make you excited. It will be making you wanting for more. Let's see. I feel like whoever will message you, it's built from solid. I feel like whoever will message you that will make you happy, it is solid. It's not lying. It's truthful. It's really solid. And it's colorful. It makes your, it makes you smile. Whoever this person it is or news this is, it will make you smile. Oh, okay. It could be a manager. It could be a boss. It could be... You feel very loved and very supported by the King of Pentacles. It could be, um, it could be a message connected to money. It could be con it could be a message connected to money. It could be a message connected to support. It could also be a message connected to a person who wants to connect with you romantically. But they will commit to you. Whoever this is, it's not a one off. Okay, it's not a one off message. It's not a message where they say this and they do different. You know, it's not just a message that will, it's not a message that will cheer you up and then they will be gone. It's not a supportive message. It's a message. It's not a message of emotional support. No, it's a message. It's a doer. Whoever this person is like, I miss you. I want to see you. And they will do that. They will travel the world to see you. So it's a it's a happy message and it's a committed message. So whatever they will tell you, they will do it. It's a doer. You know, it's a, it's an actionable message. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And you've got the temperance card and it is in your I would say it is in your control because you have um it's the temperance card like it's up to you if you're going to allow this person to give you the action. They will message you and there is an action, a follow-up action. So, for example, oh, hey, Sag, I want to give you this. And it's up to you if you would like to receive whatever they want to give you. But whatever message this is, there is going to be a follow-up action. They meant what they say. They will do it. Temperance card. Hmm. It's actually up to you if you would like to receive whatever they want to give you. Let's see. Yeah, two of pentacles, because you're hesitating. Yeah, I felt that with the two of cups, you're hesitating. Whoever this person is or situation, it is very committed. If there is someone hesitating in here, it's it's you. I feel like it is like cloud nine, like you're surreal, like you're walking on the sunshine. It feels like, wow, this is really happening. Are you doing this for me? You know? Yes. Oh, my God. Sag, they're doing it for you. Oh my gosh. This person, whoever this is, they would sacrifice something and then give something to you. So for example, it's a job. They would have to remove. Uh, it's for them, They will offer you something and get rid of something. Or it's an offer. Okay, offer, okay Sagittarius, we want to offer you this. You have to take it because we need to work on the other one. To remove it and give it to you because judgment card they have to surrender something and then offer this to you so it's up to you that's why you're hesitating to accept it because if you accept it another person will lose their job or another person would lose like it's an offer that yeah it's a there is like you're replacing someone or somebody yeah oh my god look at that x so it is an offer where you will be replacing someone in their life in the job in the business you will replace someone it's an amazing offer but you hesitate because you will be replacing somebody in their life in the job in the position in whatever this person is you know but it's a good offer so it's gonna be up to you to accept it because i feel like with the two of pentacles you're kind of hesitating okay Am I ready to do this or that? It's going to be up to you. Okay. 
they I think it would there's a negotiation for the next two weeks but you're gonna be replacing someone so thank you Sagittarius I'll see you soon guys you have a great day bye bye